Trails versus Parks! Round three! Fun of thoughts! Hi, welcome back to the New Shelves. I'm Judy. And I'm Michael. We're finally going to talk about part three. Yes, it's been a while. A long time. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> I, I have to say that I'm actually glad we took a while because it gave me more opportunity to play Trails. Yes. And now I can really, I feel like I can really give a good final thought on these two games. Absolutely. All right. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we are first going to talk about the things that we like in parks, mm -hmm. maybe better than trails. Maybe. And then we're going to talk about the things we like in trails, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe better than parks. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about our final thoughts. Yes. Let's get to it. Okay. So what do you like about parks? Okay, so the first time I saw it, it was beautiful. I like how there are four players. You have two, I play two. Yes. And you have to wait until the last one, the fourth one, reach the end to finish that round. Right, yeah. And that, that kind of not benefit me because you're so good at stay until the last <laughs> two. You're usually the last two and still going, but I just... Zoom, thought it to the end. It is true. That is something about parks, which is really cool, is that if you go quickly to the end, yeah. then you your players can't move anymore. Once they get to the end, they're at the end. I kind of waited there for right? a while. <laughs> Whereas in trails, you can go back and forth and back yeah. and forth and you keep going. Mm -hmm. And if you can kind of wait out your opponents, then you have a lot longer to go. But if you're the last person on the trail, you have to go to the end. Yes, but because we play two and two, so usually... You know, if you're good at strategy like this, you can just kind of hang on there and then slowly take your time. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. you're very good at that. Yeah, I would wait <laughs> you out and you would rush to the end. Yeah, exactly. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And every round when we finish, we pick up all the sites and then we add one more in, we shuffle it. And then we display again. So right. every game is different. Mm -hmm. The order they come out. Every round is different. And that actually affects your strategy. Right. Because it's completely different. Right. Yeah. Every round, it's completely different. I really like yeah. that. The replayability is really, yeah. really high. And um, you add a site as well every round. Yeah. So the action is different. It, yep. It could be anything, right? That's pretty cool. Um, one of the things I have to point out, which Trails doesn't have, is we cannot occupy the same site together unless right. we unless we use the campfire. Right. Flip it over. Which is different than in Trails. You can. Yeah. Yeah. But there is one site where you can copy yeah. other um, hiker, yeah. either your opponents or yourself, and you can use any of their action where, wherever they are. I think that one is really cool. Yep. Yep. I agree with you. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And those are the parts I really enjoy in parks. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, I think you missed something, a couple of things that are very, very noticeably better in parks than in trails. Number one yeah. is Parks comes with these incredible inserts. Oh, that's right. And the way that you put it in the box, it actually has two of these inserts and everything fits. The components have their own little component tray and yeah. the board fits in the insert. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Trails doesn't have that and Parks does and I love it mm -hmm. so much. And also the components in Parks are so beautiful. It's very bright. Right? Mm -hmm. So like the suns are actually suns. All the components are shapes. Mm -hmm. All the wild cards are all different kinds of animals. And yeah. I just think it's incredible. For component wise, parks definitely have more. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they require this tray yep. for the storage. No, it's true. But not only more. Mm -hmm. Like in trails, the components are just square cubes. Yes, it's quite simple. Right. Whereas in parks, they're actual shapes and they're, they're wood tokens that are cut out. And yes. every every wild token yeah. is its own animal. And I think I that's love those. amazing. Yes, I love those wild animal tokens. Yeah. The For other sure. thing I really like about parks is mm -hmm. that in trails, really the only scenery that you yeah. see are on the sites. Yes. Whereas in parks, there is just an entire deck full of these gorgeous, gorgeous cards. 
Um, and I love that about it's parks. It's got a name and a fact at the bottom yep, as well. Quite yep, educational. It, absolutely. Yes. And I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So Parks obviously has a little bit more going on than Trails does. Mm -hmm. um, Trails is a lighter game for sure. Yep. But what I like Parks because you can also get these gear cards, mm -hmm. which give you special bonuses and break the game in some way. And I really yeah. like that as well. It's ongoing as well. And yeah. ongoing too. Yeah. 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 That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And that will be Parks. That's what I like about Parks, yes. Yes. So now we're going to move on and talk about Trails. Yeah. Okay, so for Trails, shall I start? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> so comparing with Parks, there's only one meeple for you and one meeple for one me. One hiker, yep. <laughs> yeah, and we can occupy on the same side. Yes, so we, we can. So we don't have to worry about fighting each other. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I really enjoy is that Bear. The bear, yes. Yes. Yep. The bear, when you encounter the bear, right. you get to roll this die. Mm -hmm. First get the resources you have there, mm -hmm. and then you roll this die, and then move to whatever die you roll, and now you move the bear there, Yep. and then you can use that. Yeah, it gets you a bonus. Yeah, get that resource again. Mm -hmm. and That can easily mess up your opponent, because they probably see the bear there, and they want to do something there, they have a plan, but because you move it, now they have to replay. Sometimes you move it back, so yeah. where I can't get to it. Yeah, Which that's that happens to you all the time, right? All the time. <laughs> it seems to always happen, yeah. Yeah, I do enjoy that part. Mm -hmm. um, the sites you're looking at now, they're daytime. Um, when hiker go to the end, and then they flip over, and then you have to move the sound token over, mm -hmm. If another player go there and then turn around, now it move, and you have to flip this to night side, and it actually gives you better resource yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. A and then it keeps amount. going, right? And then the next yeah. time it'll go, and it keeps flipping over to the night. I love that. Until the end, Until and the then end. you flip over, and then go here. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what actually ends the game, yes. is moving that sun. I think that's fantastic. Yes. So the artworks, that's all you see. That's you true. don't have as much. Yeah, you have a day yeah. side and a night side, yeah. Yeah, but I think that part is really mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. The other thing I really need to mention, I think that's probably the, the very key point of trails mm -hmm. is those badges. Yes, yes. I really enjoy those badges. Mm -hmm. um, so when you go to the end, yeah. there are two badges you can choose. Mm -hmm. As long as you can pay for it, you can even get two. Yep. And not to forget, you will always have one on your hand as well. True. So you can either pay for the one on your hand yeah. or Well, you actually those. start the game with two in your hand. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Um, and then when you head back to the, f the head, there are two more. Yep. So there are a lot of options you can choose how you want to work your resources. Um, it's really hard, though. To yeah. pick which badges you want. Cause but your resources are limited, don't forget, too, which is yeah. kind of a neat thing in Trails as well. Yeah, it is, it's not that easy. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. only they give you um, the bird watch points and the end game points as mm -hmm. well, the resources. Yep. It's tons of fun. Yeah. And they kind because of, there is no gear in Trails. Yeah. So these, some of them actually have things that break the game go, for you, yes, too. Yeah, yes. yeah which I, is really neat. That's all the fun stuff I really enjoy mm -hmm. about Trails. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, it's funny because earlier you said that in parks, you really like that when all the hikers get to the end, the round is over. Yeah. You take all of the sites, shuffle them, and reset them up. Yes. It's interesting because that's what I didn't like about parks. And what I like about trails more. What yeah. I like about trails is there are no rounds. No. You go to the end and turn around and go back. And you're always moving back and forth. And you mm -hmm. never actually have to stop, shuffle, reset up. Mm -hmm. There's none of that. You just keep going and going and going. Yes. It's a continuous um, round. It's yes. only one round. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the end, the sun moves and flips them over. Mm -hmm. I really, really like that about trails. I love this idea of having the sun flipping over to the night. Yes. It's thematic. Mm -hmm. It makes it so that the game, as the game goes on, everything becomes more and more powerful. Yes. So the game powerful. kind of speeds up a little bit as you yeah. go. And I also like the fact that because you can just keep going back and forth and back and forth, you can only go in one direction until you get to one end and then you move back and forth. But you're only allowed to move one or two spaces. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really neat because 
you're collecting resources, but you have a yes. limit. Mm -hmm. So if you have too many resources, but you can't move far enough, what do you do? What are you going to do? You're kind of right? stuck there, right? But you have canteens, whereas in parks you have Campfire. campfires yep. so that you can land on a spot with somebody else. In trails, you have canteens. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You get thirsty. You drink it. Then you can go as far as you want. Yeah, you got all the energy back. And I think that's really, really neat. So, I mean... Not having all of the rounds, I think Trails is is a easier game. It's, mm -hmm. it's more simple, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but that kind of shines with me. I really like that. I like that just that continuous movement back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, it's simple to set up. That's yep. for sure. And mm -hmm. we also introduce Trails to our children as well, and they really absolutely, enjoy it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And the other thing that I like about Trails more than Parks is that in Parks you have these photos that you can take, mm -hmm. they're all just one point. That's yep. it. There's one point for every photo you take. Mm -hmm. In trails, the photos are different. The photos can be worth zero, one, or two points, and they have birds on them, which give yes. you bird bonuses. Mm -hmm. And you have a choice of taking two from the top of the deck. And then just keep one. Keeping one, or taking the top from the discard pile. Mm -hmm. So I like that the photos give you a choice as well. So those are the things that I, I like better about trails. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. Those are really cool points. Mm -hmm. Except for the part I really like this shuffling I part. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. That is really nice that, that yeah. it gives every round, it changes Very it. Different. It gives it some variability, which is yes. quite neat too. Yeah. yeah. So that is it for trails. Mm -hmm. Okay. So moment of truth. This is our moment to share our final thoughts about trails and parks. It's so tough. <laughs> well, what are your final thoughts? I mean, you don't necessarily have to pick which one's your favorite, but if you want to, you can. Um, <laughs> hmm. Put it this way. Okay. On a Friday night when I'm home from work, I'm tired, but I want to play a game that's relaxing, mm -hmm. put a nature music at the background, yep. easy mode, or introducing yep. to new gamer yep. trails. Okay. For parks, I will want to play with it. Sunday morning coffee, <laughs> or play with someone already have experiences okay. playing board game. Hey, I think that's very similar game, but very different scenario. Yeah, I I think that's very fair. I um, like them both. You like them both. Okay, fair. That's it's fair like, enough. That's fair it's enough. It's like I'm sending both kids to the college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is fair enough. Um, if you had asked me when we did our round one and round two of yeah. this. I would have picked parks over trails Me too. for sure. But yeah. I've had an opportunity to play trails a few more times. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we've played it with our kids and our family. I agree with you. Uh, trails definitely has a place in our collection. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. I still think I like parks. Oh, that's a tough one. I like parks because I think the production value is better. The production mm -hmm. quality. I think it has better components. I think I love the inserts and the trays and and the way that it, that was produced. Mm -hmm. I love all the parks cards. Every time it's on the table, I just think, wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. For me, it has table presence and I love it. But Trails has a place in our collection mm -hmm. and I actually think they both have a place in our collection. Yeah. They're different enough. Mm -hmm. They're they're similar, but they're different enough that they can both be in our collection. Yes. And Playing trails with our kids mm -hmm. was fantastic because I, I they didn't quite grasp parks. It's a bit too overwhelming for them. A little bit too overwhelming. And they yeah. really got into trails and really enjoyed it. And Even the um, strategy of how you build your endgame points yeah. with a badge card, which I find quite interesting to oh, see that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree. And it was great. And then, I mean, the last time we played it, in fact, uh, our oldest daughter beat me by one point, And I just thought that was fantastic. <laughs> Proud moment. <laughs> Proud moment. So, I mean, so so that's, those are my final thoughts. And, and I really, truly believe they both have a place in your collection. Yes, And absolutely. they have a place in our collection, and I'm I'm glad that we have both. Yes. So that would be parks versus trails. Yes. What do you think? What do you think? Leave a comment below, and let's talk about it. Yeah, we would love to hear what you think if you've played both. Yes. Yeah. So that would be it for today. Mm -hmm. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell mm -hmm. for more videos to come. Yep. Until next time, go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye.